Hi and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about shingles. It's incredibly common. I'm sure you know people who have had it and it can be pretty miserable when it does happen. It's estimated that one in three adults will possibly get shingles at some point in their lifetime. It's most common in people over age 50, but it can happen at any time. It's a reactivation of the chickenpox virus or varicella zoster, herpes zoster. What happens is after you either have the chickenpox vaccine or the disease, it goes and lives in a nerve cell body and then is reactivated during a time of stress, whether that is physical or emotional, either one can hasten a case of shingles. Many would argue that the most dangerous form of shingles is when it happens in this dermatome because it can affect your eye and can lead to blindness if not treated quickly. Time is of the essence when we treat shingles and it's important to get on medication as soon as possible, preferably within a 48 hour window of onset of the rash. Sometimes people will have what we call a prodrome or a syndrome of just not feeling well for sometimes days, possibly even weeks, before they break out in this rash. They will feel like they do when they have a virus, just the what we would call malaise, occasionally run a low-grade fever and just feel bad. Occasionally they will have pain in the area before they break out. Bad pain, um, certainly out of proportion to what we can see on the skin, which hopefully with an astute clinician can help make them think, hmm, this person is having very bad pain in an area that I can't see, but it seems to be superficial on the skin. And we can actually treat this before someone breaks out if we have an index of suspicion that it may be shingles. What can we do about shingles if you happen to come down with it? As I mentioned earlier, time is of the essence and we want to catch it within 48 hours of the outbreak. We will also sometimes give people medication for the nerve pain, which I'm going to discuss in more detail in the next video, but things like gabapentin or Lyrica or other things that may actually help alter the nerve transmitting the pain signal can be of use in severe cases. The mainstay is prevention. Now we have a really good vaccine that's available and it can decrease your risk of shingles by greater than 90%. Studies are really promising for this shot. It's actually a series of two. You get the one, the first, and then anywhere from two to six months later, get the second shot, significantly decreasing your risk. The shingles shot is recommended for individuals age 50 and over or for younger people, 19 and older, if they have some sort of suppressed immune condition. Another option is never get sick and don't have any stress in your life. Shingles is contagious. You can't give somebody else a case of shingles, but if they have either a suppressed immune system or have not had chicken pox, or the chicken pox vaccine, they can catch chicken pox from you. So people to avoid if you have shingles are the elderly or frail, people with suppressed immune systems who either have underlying conditions or are on immune suppressing drugs, babies under a year who haven't had a chance to be vaccinated, or people who just have avoided coming down with chicken pox their whole life. You're no longer considered contagious when you are no longer breaking out with new blisters and the ones that you have are completely crusted over. So to sum up, don't assume that an insect bit you in a line going all down your arm or all across your torso. Please go see your doctor quickly. If you have a new blistery rash that hurts and get on the medicine ASAP. You'll be well on your way to healing and hopefully avoiding long-term issues. Don't forget to like and subscribe.